Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I'm going to show you um, a little project that I've been working on. There's loads of these on uh, on YouTube but uh, I thought I'd have a go at it and I've done a, a little twist on it myself. It's not quite the same as what's on YouTube but uh, I just had to uh, work with what I had. So basically what I've got is I've got my phone here and you can see there that it's charging okay so that's charging away and if we follow the lead round it comes into this little box here which is only very shallow and inside this box well let's let's carry on from the box from the box it then comes out and that wire that's just tucked in there to keep it tidy comes out there and it's connected to my 1.5 watt solar panel which is just stuck on the inside of the window with some suckers okay so that's what we've got so I've, I think you're getting the general idea I'm charging my phone via solar uh, just in my little office here but in here this is the little box of tricks now I've utilized some of the lithium ion batteries that I salvaged from the car boot sale and you can see there the solar panel comes in and it goes into and get it as best I can that there is a little charge controller okay and that cost me hmm I think it was about one pound eighty um, there's a little indicator light on there to say that the solar panel is charging and when the batteries are fully charged there's another LED next to it that changes to blue I'm sorry if the camera work isn't very good on this but everything's so tiny it's really hard to get up close uh, you can see just on the front of the charge controller there there is a little mini USB port so if you wanted you can connect a normal USB charger and charge the batteries directly from the mains if need be. From the charge controller it then goes into this little unit here which is a USB booster circuit or amplifier to you and me and basically what that does is you've got the solar panel comes in to the charge controller we've got 3.75 volts here which is connected into the charge controller so it's charging these batteries so then 3.75 volts isn't enough to charge your phone so you need the booster circuit so that booster circuit there boosts the 3.75 volts or whatever it is up to 5 volts and that is enough to charge my phone and you can see there it's gone from 65 to 72 in the time we've just been talking now then if you're thinking of having a go at making one of these, that charge, that uh, boost circuit there, that was again, that was about, that was a little bit more expensive. I think that was about two pounds twenty, something like that. If you're going to make one of these, make sure you get one like that. It's got all the little diodes along the bottom. I think the diodes, well, some kind of component anyway. You can see them there along the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to call them diodes for now. Six little diodes along the bottom. Make sure you get one like that. It's a red one. Because um, there are different ones on uh, the well-known auction site. This is the one I originally purchased. You can see there. I'll put some photographs up of it later. Looks a similar thing. But that one will not charge your phone Android phone or iPhones you can work LED lights off it and other USB devices but if you want to charge your phones or your iPads or your iTouch or iPhones that will not work you need one of those and on the listing on the well-known auction website it does say suitable for Android and iPhones so make sure you read the description because that's the one you need so that came today I've just soldered it in when I plugged it all in 
on this one when this was all soldered up the little LED lit up before I'd even plugged the phone in on this one it didn't and I thought oh heck I've got a duffer but as soon as you plug your device in you can see there the little LED comes on to say that it's charging whichever device you've plugged in okay so I've got that there now that's cost me all of well probably less than a fiver for, for making all that I had to buy the little uh, socket and plug there as well the salvage batteries a little box I found in the garage and that just uh, shuts up nicely and I could have that sat on my desk with the solar panel connected you can see there my uh, choice of reading Ray Mears, Ray Mears Whittling Shooting Digital Reflexology how did that get in there? Uh, ground Force <laughs> Gardening Insects and no bookshelf should be without a Theosaurus and a dictionary not that I ever use them uh, anyway so there you go that's my little project that I've just completed I'll probably have another little play around with the uh, with the box just to tidy it up a bit but uh, you can see there I've just put a little cut out at the side to let the cable come out so it's all neat and tidy so I can uh, charge my phone for free now using my 1.5 watt solar panel so uh, like I say the components are really cheap to buy really easy to do if you're any good at soldering um, it's a nice little project so uh, if you want any details let me know but there are like I say there are several videos out there on YouTube they mainly do them to fit into a Altoids tin but you need to buy the uh, lithium batteries the flat lithium batteries which look something like that that was out of an old camera which I'm gonna have a play with but it looks like it might be a bit dodgy that one it seems to have swelled up a bit but that's the kind of battery you use in the Altoids tin so you've got room to cram everything in but uh, with the batteries I've got that little box was perfect okay so there you go that's my little solar powered mobile phone charger hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video